I hope you everyone is doing great. So here is tutorial how you can remove show on card uh, from planar task. Let's say I create a task here. Test task one, add task and then uh, let me copy link from here. And I put link here, okay. Uh, not this one, uh, this one. Okay, so I put link here and as you can see, it is showing here, like uh, being displayed here. So if I don't want to appear it here, I click here, okay. So uh, task won't show this show on card. Especially when we create task from the flow, uh, I, I am going to switch back to previous uh, editor, uh, previous designer, or you can switch it from here. Okay, let's say we create task. Okay, so we create task. Let's say we select uh, group ID. Let me select the same as I showed earlier. Test plan two. And for the plan ID, same as above one, test plan two. For title, we can title one. For bucket, let working now. So it's up to you if you want to modify other. And let's say you want to add attachment as well. So you need to use update task details action to add attachment to it. Okay, let's say for the ID we use custom value like the ID from the above created task. And let's say you want to add link here. Uh, let me Okay, so let's say you want to add attachment here, attachment uh, link to attachment and let's say this is, okay, let me, okay, let me copy this above link. Okay, let's say you put it here and this is test link and for the type we can randomly select any, let's say I select PDF, and if I run this, this will create a new task with attachment, but attachment will show as a card preview. Okay, it uh, executed successfully and if I refresh it here, as you can see here, a new task is created, but it is showing the link as a preview here. As you can see here, but we don't want it. We want it like this, let's say. We want it to appear like this. Like this. Uh, so we don't want preview uh, let me delete it and for this we're going to use http request search for http so from here you need to choose uh, this one as you can see here it is has pre-authorized in the bracket so choose this and invoke an HTTP request. Okay, click here. For the method, uh, we're gonna use patch. For URL request, uh, let me copy the link from here. Okay, 
So for URL request, I am going to also put this link in the description. We are going to use this link, but instead of ID, we will provide ID from here. You can either provide from update task action or from this create task action. So from update task, you provi we provide this ID and in headers for the key, we put this if match and for the value, what we're going to use is basically this one body. Okay. And click here and in expression. Okay. So for now, it will use this one update task details body. Let's say you are the update task one, then you need to modify this expression with underscores one. Okay. As right now, my uh, mine is same as update task detail spaces are replaced with this underscores. So click OK. You will see like this and the for body, we gonna provide this preview type to no preview. Okay. We don't want to display anything on the body. So when I test it, as you can see here, there is no task here. Okay, so now what it does is when task is created, it will send HTTP request to it with instruction to display no preview. As you can see here, uh, let me refresh it. A new task should appear here, but now it won't display card, card for the uh, attachment. To let me know in case you have any issues or there are any questions, uh, in the uh, uh, in the comments and one more thing when you gonna add this one invoke http request uh, when you sign up it will ask for two addresses uh, web addresses uh, i am gonna provide those in the description so you can copy them and just paste it there to add this new action there